Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to show you how to put an electric motor on a cat trike. I just put the rack on right here and uh, had a little problems with it. Uh, if you look right here inside it, the screws are too long. They come up through the bottom and uh, no nut or anything on them. So I put some uh, Loctite on it <clears throat> and then down here. On the back of the cat trike, I had to uh, modify, or actually I made those. They're little pieces of plastic I ground down, and these are uh, light brackets, mounts. So they didn't give me any way to attach here because we have no, no screw holes. So you'll have to make something if you get one of these racks. And uh, the battery slips right in I'll show you that it slides right in like this and there you go there's a little key to lock it in and that works work pretty good on the battery uh, when you get the battery you got to charge it for like eight hours uh, your next step is to take the crank off that you're going to put a different crank on and you'll have to have a few tools for that uh, if you don't already have them. Um, I had a pretty good bottom bracket on there. And uh, it actually took a tool like this to get it off. Uh, and the cranks usually come off with a big Allen. So we got the box here now and we're going to pull everything apart. I'll show you what's in the box. This is what you get in the box. Everything you need to put it together, and it's pretty simple. And we'll get on the ball right now. Okay, the next step is simply sliding it in. Putting on this little uh, adapter. This will keep it from twisting. We'll put the two bolts on. And screw the tightening pieces down. Uh, here's a tool that I'm going to use to tighten the, the lock nut down. And uh, you want to make sure that that's nice and tight. We'll put this one on. Oops. Looks like the cover just to make it nice. And of course, that tool is not even going to be not going to go on there. This is the expert. This is Bella, the expert. 
She knows how to put wire ties on, don't you, Bella? Do you know how to put these on? Yeah, are they good? Don't be licking the chain. Okay, this run I also had to, uh, I drilled and tapped two uh, screws to hold the rack because it doesn't come with a with an attachment you really have to have it tight i use a couple pieces of uh inner tube for uh shock uh you can use a rubber washer didn't have any of those in stock so my initial test run and uh, i've had a blast so far uh a couple things i need to point out is when i first installed this i installed this down on the bottom well, no matter what you do, it actually turns around from the torque. Um, it's meant to stop on that bar. You have to tighten these as tight as possible. And I had it happen before this one. Uh, as tight as I can get it, it's still turned around. Make sure you have plenty of wire ties. There's all kinds of wire. On a cat trike installation, the speed sensor, you need to extend it because it has to go to the wheel. Uh, there's a little magnet pick up the speed sensor actually tells you how fast you're going on the display now without it on the display picking it up I have basically unlimited speed uh, it tops out about 31 miles an hour now this is only a 47 and in the back here I have a uh, an 11 to 28 and there's three different assist modes on this the first assist mode I can pedal in say my top gear my uh, number 11 and out pedal it at uh, about 21 miles an hour it starts getting pretty hard so you're getting no assist on the third one so the first assist mode gives you the least amount of assist, but it gives you the maximum amount of speed. So if you're using your thumb drive and not pedaling at all, it will go clear up to 30 some miles an hour because it's not reading the speed sensor. Now you're using up your battery, but hey, depending on how tired you are, uh, also, on this installation, the wire to the battery in the back was not long enough, so I had to uh, make an extension battery back here to the back. I also had to uh, tap and screw two little screws to hold the battery uh, and the rack in the back. Now, they make other different racks that uh, sit down on the side. Just depends on uh, your application. But anyways, I will. Uh, I don't have a place for my Garmin, so I'll put it in my. Uh, <laughs> I'll put it in my uh, shorts here, and show you on the way back while I'm buzzing along. Okay, we're out on our trip now. Uh, right now, I have the brake lever just barely touched. It has a brake uh, sensor in it, so when you hit the brakes, it shuts the motor off. And uh, I have downshifted. To a bigger gear for climbing but let off the brake and it automatically takes off now you don't want to shift with the power on you'll break your chain so they do make a, a, a shift sensor that shuts the motor off so that you can shift but the best way i found is just barely touch your brake and make your shift like I'm doing now to your next gear and then when you're ready just let off the uh, the brake lever a little bit and pedal now if you're ready for another gear tap the brake like I'm doing now and shift let her go and she'll fly <laughs> 